Sup, motherfuckers? Skulls here. And I just found some groundbreaking shit for the motherfuckers who can't afford a high quality mic like the Blue Snowball. I found this yesterday when I was looking for an alternative to Audacity, which most people who record audio knows exactly what Audacity is. It's a free audio recorder and editor at the same time. But for me, when I use the noise removal feature in Audacity, it always leaves a small piece of hiss behind my voice when I speak. And it's irritating as hell to me, because no matter what I did to the audio, it still had that damn hiss behind my words, which is understood for something that is completely free. You know, they don't have the best technology in the world. So my recommendation is something that's not originally free, but it's amazing piece of software. And a lot of people don't promote illegal activity or illegal downloading, but I don't give a shit. So there will be a link in the description where you can download the software and activate it for free. It's completely worth it. And the software is Adobe Audition. And since it's Adobe, it won't hurt them to have a few people use their software for free. They make enough money. But with Audition, their noise removal technology is fantastic. It eliminates all hiss in the audio and makes it perfect. And with just a few clicks, you can do this for your audio. So first, what we need to do is after you activate the app, following the steps in the download below, if you need help, put it in the description. I'll help you as much as I possibly can. So after you install it, open it, and then drag your audio that you need to edit the hiss out of or go to the top of the application click file and then open and then open the file I don't think it matters what type of audio file it is just input anything so after you find the audio and load it into the waveform section where you can see the audio the actual audio click the zoom magnifying glass that has the arrows at the top that you see right here so you can see the hits only parts like this after you zoomed in enough Highlight as much as the hiss as you possibly can. Make sure not to highlight the actual audio or you will run into problems of it actually removing that. And after you highlight the audio, go to the top of the app, click effect, and go down to where it says noise removal and reduction. Slide over where it says capture noise point. And when you click that, it might show a warning. Just hit OK. And after you do that, Click anywhere on the audio file so nothing is highlighted and go back to the top of the app, click effects, noise reduction once again, and now you click right below capture noise point and click noise reduction. Once you click that, it will show you a window where it shows all your settings of how much hits should be removed. Keep the noise reduction slider at 100% of course, and you will need to play with the second slider so you don't distort the original audio. And this is what I love about this app. You can actually listen to how it's going to sound before you actually apply it to your audio. Just hit play on the window and that's exactly how the audio will sound if you hit apply. Once you figured out the perfect setting, you may notice like an echo of your voice in the background when you speak. I don't know exactly what this is, but I just found out how to almost completely remove that. So after you apply the noise removal, you need to go back to the top click effect and go down to noise reduction and this time click adaptive noise reduction in this window make sure in the preset drop down menu light noise reduction is selected and slide the second slider down all the way to the right so it says 100 percent the minor echo should be almost gone if it's not slide over the third or the fourth slider a little bit to the right not all the way to the right it won't sound right if you do that but just slide it over a couple decibels and see if it's basically gone. I don't think it can be completely removed, but it could be damn close. And once you do all that, you have a high quality sounding mic for only 10 bucks. Yes, it's a good number of steps, but it's worth it in the end if you actually want some high quality stuff for pretty cheap. Anyways, motherfuckers, that's it. If you need any help, tell me in the description. And I'm out.